Now the Pioneer School Community Arts Center, the old school building houses an ever-changing gallery. The current exhibit is called Strong and Unusual. And uh, we have over 50 area artists uh, that are p participating in it. And uh, it's really cool. We, we, have, uh, we have some absolutely huge names and we have up and coming beginners that, uh, that wouldn't be recognized and known and, and are great artists. Savage, the property's caretaker, is an artist himself and works to organize the center's exhibitions. He lives in an apartment on the property with his daughter. Quite literally above and behind the exhibition sits the homes and workspaces of several artists featured in it. The premise is the building lends itself to the creativity. We, we have wheels and we have kilns and we have easels and we, we have most anything you need to create art. Artists can rent a range of spaces for living and working. I love like this and I love this building. I love this where it's at positioned up above the school. The view is so amazing. It's it's a, it's worth part of your rent. Smith, an artist and musician, has a studio space and living space just down the hall from each other, where he works and creates music. Other artists in the building include Christopher Cassidy, who lives in the building with his five-year-old son, Etzel. The two have a piece featured in the current exhibition. They have the ability as a young person to work out that imagination and meet different people, perspectives here at the center. It's, it's beautiful, it's a very wonderful privilege. Another artist, Savannah Ramos, also lives in the building. Her mother runs a dog grooming business on the first floor, and her father utilizes a studio for his clay work. So it's kind of cool to like hear stories, especially because there's a lot of people that used to go here in Zanesville. So when they come in here, they're always telling their kids, this was my classroom. And Looking towards the future, Savage said he hopes to create more opportunities for art classes for people in Zanesville and beyond to come and create. In Zanesville, I'm Taylor Burnett for News Watch.